Hi everyone, my name is Moni. And I'm Naveen from Before You Play. And today we're going to be doing a two-player playthrough of a game called Star Tycoon. Yes, this game is designed by Peter and Elkira Sanderson and published by Good Games Publishing who are helping sponsor this playthrough. And in this game, we are going to be taking on the roles of heads of startup galactic corporations. And our ultimate goal is to become mega giant galactic corporations. Yes, this is a resource management card-driven game for one to four players. And so today, as per usual, we are going to start with a teach of the game and then we'll go straight into our two-player playthrough. Playthrough. If you'd like to jump around, we'll include timestamps in the description below. Now, before we begin, if you could all just a big favor and turn on your Klingon subtitles. If we make any mistakes, we'll add those corrections there. Lastly, if you like these kind of videos and you want to see more in the future, please consider subscribing. And with that, we are ready to begin. So if you'd please direct your attention to the center of the table, we're all set up here for a two-player game of Star Tycoon. Welcome to the galaxy. Mm -hmm. Now, like we were mentioning, in this game, players play as the head of a startup corporation who is trying to expand their business into a mega corporation. Mm -hmm. So in order to win, over the course of the game, you'll need to expand your corporation by purchasing additional planets and developments. As a startup, your player area consists of three cards, a corporation card that details your starting resources as well as a corporation ability and an end game scoring criteria if you are able to meet it, as well as your home planet that also provides you with an end game scoring criteria and your Omniforge card that gives you your starting production of two resources. Now the game is played over the course of four rounds and each round consists of five phases, starting with the event phase. Each round will draw a new card from the event deck. And these cards do a wide range of things. We'll probably discuss them more as we play the playthrough. But just so you know, this phase is skipped during the first round. Once that's done, then we move into the production phase, where players will gain resources from all of the cards in front of you that produce resources. This will include your Omniforge card, as well as any developments that you purchase throughout the game. Afterwards, you'll move into player turns. And so starting with the first player and going clockwise, each player will take three turns per round. And on your turn, you'll take up to three actions. Now in this game, there are six different types of actions that you can take. And on your turn, you're choosing up to three of them, but you can take the same one multiple times. So let's just briefly discuss the different types of actions, starting with the purchase action. This action is the heart and soul of the game. In order to grow your corporation, you'll need to expand it by purchasing additional planets and building developments underneath those planets. So then taking this action allows you to purchase one card from the display, or one of the brand partnerships, or a card that you reserve from your hand, which we'll talk about later. Now, if you'll notice, the display houses four different rows of cards. The top row is entirely consistent of planets, and the bottom three rows are all developments in three different levels. When purchasing a card from the display, a very important rule to keep in mind is you can only purchase cards from full rows. And full rows are rows that have all three of their cards still present, which means even though you can take the purchase action several times in one turn, you can only purchase one card from each row because these cards do not refill until the end of your turn. When purchasing a card, regardless of whether it's from the display or one of the brand partnerships, the cost is going to be the combination of resources that are in the top left-hand corner of the card. And so planets, when purchased, are placed in your player area to the right of the rightmost card, forming a row. Developments, on the other hand, are tucked underneath planet cards. And so if you'll notice, each planet has a certain number of hammer symbols, and that dictates the number of developments that you can tuck under it. And the reason why this is important is because each planet also has their own end game scoring criteria. This will either be a certain combination of resources or brand symbols that you'll need to collect underneath that specific planet. For example, this planet wants me to have at least one food, research, and gas symbol on the developments that are underneath it. So building this development contributes the food symbol that I would need in order to score this planet. This planet, on the other hand, wants you to build developments from these three different brand symbols. And so in this game, there are six different brands that want you to build their developments. And they're each represented by symbols that are also found on the development cards. And so in this example, even though this development card would also work towards fulfilling the scoring criteria of this planet, only developments that are assigned to that specific planet will count towards the scoring criteria. And development cards, by the way, provide you with resources during the production phase of the round. Now, in addition to planet scoring, we also have corporation-wide scoring that you'll see on your home planet as well as on your corporation card. Corporations want you to purchase three planets from either a specific terrain type or a specific 
specific system. And so, as an example, Naveen's corporation wants him to purchase three planets from the Glint system, mm -hmm. whereas my corporation wants me to purchase three planets of specifically the star terrain. And system names are found on the bottom of the planet cards, whereas the terrain types are the symbols in the top right-hand corner. And homeworlds provide players with a production supremacy target that will score you the number of points if at the end of the game you produce the most number of that specific type of resource, not including the resources on your Omniforge card. Going back to the various actions, again, when taking a purchase action, you are allowed to purchase one card from a full row in the display. And the difference between the three different levels of development cards are that the level one developments typically cost fewer resources but only produce one resource each. Level Two developments are more expensive, but will also come with more production icons and victory points. And some will also have smuggle actions, which we'll talk about later. And finally, the level three developments, also known as mega structures, are very, very expensive. But at the end of the game, they each score you five points. In addition to the cards in the display, alternatively, you can purchase one of the six brand partnerships, and these cards will score you a certain number of victory points at the end of the game, depending on how many of that brand symbols you have across all of your planets. And again, these symbols will be found on the development cards. The next type of action is the reserve action, and this allows you to reserve one card from a full row in the display. The exceptions are that you cannot reserve a brand partnership, and you cannot reserve one of the level three cards that specifically belong to the Diamond brand. Sorry, they're called the Diamond Mega Engineering brand. Players can only have one card in their reserve, and so players should decide before playing if you want to play with it face up or hidden. And if ever you'd like to reserve a different card when you already have one in your hand, then you'd first have to place your card back on top of the corresponding draw deck before reserving a new card. And if we didn't mention it earlier, you would have to take a purchase action in order to put your reserve card into play. Next, we have the refresh action that allows you to discard all three cards in a full row in the display, placing them all to the bottom of the deck and replacing them with cards from the top of the deck. And of course, this can be done several times in one turn, just as long as the row is full. Next, we have the actions that will allow us to gain resources, because in this game, you will need to manage your resources quite well. First, we have the trade action, which utilizes the galactic market. Each time you take a trade action, you're allowed to perform two different trades, but each trade must be from a different row in the market, and each row pertains to a specific type of resource. Now, in performing a trade, you're first going to consult the token that that's in that row. And so in this first row example, this is the mineral resource. Above the token, it says I can either pay one energy in order to gain one mineral resource, or I can do the opposite, which is selling one resource for one coin. Now it's important to keep in mind that you can only do one of these things. And so if I were to say buy a mineral by spending one of my energy tokens, all resources gained are taken from the supply. And so the game actually comes with a resource resource container that we just have off screen. And these resources are not considered limited, but anytime you buy, you're going to move the token one space to the right and flip the token over to show that you cannot do that row again this turn. So on a future turn, when this resets, players would have to spend two coins for one mineral or vice versa, they can sell one for two coins. Right, and the inverse is true. If I spent my second trade action by selling a ship for one energy token, then I would move the token one space to the left. Again, flipping it over to show that you cannot manipulate that row for the rest of your turn. And that is generally how the trade action works. Those tokens will flip over at the end of your turn. Next, we have the smuggle action, which we briefly referred to earlier. And this action pertains to any of these smuggle abilities that are highlighted in pink. You'll typically find these on level two developments, but there's also a corporation that has one. And so taking this action allows you to perform the smuggle action that's on a card either in your corporation, in a rival's corporation, or on a card in the display. So since this is in the public display, both of us have access to the smuggle action. Right, and similar to the trade action, you can smuggle twice for one smuggle action, which means I can resolve this card's ability twice, which by the way, is spending one energy token for any one resource of that specific shape. Or if I had a smuggle ability, I could resolve one and one. However, if I choose to resolve a smuggle ability that belongs to one of my opponents, then for each smuggle transaction, I must pay my opponent one 
one energy credit mm -hmm. as commission, sure. which means if I were to resolve this twice, I would have to pay Naveen two energy credits. And that's in addition to the cost associated with the actual smuggle action. But that is essentially it for the smuggle action. Mm -hmm. The last action is very straightforward. This is if you just need some resources and you can find those resources on your OmniForge card because it's called the OmniForge action. It basically just allows you to gain the two resources on that card. And those are all the different types of actions that we'll be taking in the game. And by the way, you do not have to remember them. There is a handy dandy player aid that comes with the game. Now, the last thing is as a free action, if you are really short on resources, you can take out a bank loan, which will gain you immediately five energy credits. Now, each person can only have at most one bank loan. And so you'll only play with one bank loan per player uh, to the left of the galactic market. But as long as you have that loan during production at the start of each round, you'll be required to pay one energy credit. And if you can't, then you sacrifice the resources from your OmniForge card. At any time on your turn as a free action, you can repay the loan by paying five energy credits to the supply. But if at the end of the game, you were never able to repay that loan, it is minus five victory points, which is quite a lot. So just keep that in mind. But otherwise, that is it. Mm -hmm. As soon as you're finished taking your three actions, then it moves on to the next player until all players have taken three turns each. Once player turns are done, then you move on to the discard phase where players will be required to discard down to seven resources maximum. And that includes your energy credits. Now, illegal goods are sort of an exception here. You're never allowed to discard these, which means uh, they'll force you to discard other resources of potentially higher value. Mm -hmm. And for each resource you discard, you're going to then degrade the galactic market towards the sell side. So this would go down this way if I was to get rid of a ship. Right. And you can actually choose to discard resources, even if you have fewer than seven. And finally, you always end the round by rotating the first player marker. Once the round ends, then you move on to the next round, again, starting by flipping over the top card from the event deck. And at the end of the fourth round, then we go into endgame scoring. At the end of the game, players will essentially score all of the planets in your corporation, including all of the development cards and any victory points they may have. You'll also score your home planet, your corporation card, any partner ships that you may have acquired throughout the game, and finally, one random bonus points tile that you'll be using for that game. There's other ones that come in the game, and they're all double-sided. So in this particular one, we are playing with the developments. Yes, and this will score you points depending on how many development cards you've acquired throughout the game. And at that point, whoever has the most points wins. So we're just going to go ahead and get cleaned up, and then we'll get started with our playthrough. Okay, we are ready to go. Everything has been shuffled up. Uh, Monique is going to be going first because mm -hmm. during uh, the setup, when you deal out the OmniForge cards, mm -hmm. whoever has the highest value or the highest number is going to be going first. Right. So shall I introduce my corporation? Please. Okay, so I am going to be playing as Legitimate Ventures LLC. Mm. And so I have these six starting resources that I'm actually keeping up here. And my ability says once per turn, you may use illegal goods in place of any one token when purchasing a card. Seems now, legitimate. <laughs> we did not uh, discuss illegal goods too much during the teach, but they are basically these type of goods that some cards will allow you to produce. Uh, such as this shipyard here, which actually scores you a negative one point, probably because of that. Mm -hmm. But because my corporation is so legitimate, mm -hmm. <laughs> I can use one of those per turn. Now I'm looking to purchase three planets from the star terrain, and my home planet's supremacy bonus here is it wants me to have a majority, the research token production, which are the purple symbol. And so I need to have more than Naveen, basically. Mm -hmm. Me, I'm going to be playing as advanced phase mechanics. And so my ability is each turn, I may swap the top card of any two decks with a card from their corresponding rows. So mm -hmm. that's a good way for me to see a couple different cards uh, from the display right. without actually taking a refresh action. Now, my corporate goal here is to have three planets that belong to the Glint system. And my home planet, which is Magna, wants me to have more energy production than my opponents. Yes. And if you did not join us for the teach, our bonus points tile is for developments. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be the number of developments you've acquired throughout the game. You'll score a certain number of points up to a maximum of seven points for 17 total developments. Developments. Wow. That's a lot. All right, and I think that's it. Are you ready to begin? Sure. Okay, here we go, starting with round one. Now again, the event phase is skipped for round one. So we're going to move directly to production, and we are going to produce resources that are on our OmniForge cards. So mm -hmm. what do you get, Naveen? Um, I get a mineral and a research. There you go. There you go. And I get a green and brown. Yeah. 
So all of the resources have names. Green uh, is, I believe, gas, and brown should be food. Yes. Blue is minerals, by the way. Purple is research. And then the red are ships. So then, starting with me, we're going to move into player turns. And again, on your turn, you get up to three actions. So seeing as none of these planets actually belong to the star terrain, uh, like my corporation wants me to have, then maybe I can work towards my supremacy bonus. So I think I'm going to start by purchasing a planet. Okay. I'm going to purchase this planet over here. This is going to cost me one ship which I have okay. right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this into the supply. And this planet wants me to have a combination of these three resources in development cards underneath it. And so that is the main reason why I wanted this planet because it wants me to have a research uh, resource, which will mm -hmm. help me towards my supremacy bonus. So there's that. And I can house at most three development cards underneath this planet because there are three hammers. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, this card will not refill until the end of my turn, which means I can no longer purchase cards from this row. I also cannot refresh it. For my second action, I think I'm going to purchase another card and I think it'll be a level one development because again, it must be from a full row. I'm gonna purchase this card. This is called Research. It's gonna cost me an energy token as well as a mineral. Now, I don't have any minerals uh, in my supply, but because I have Legitimate Ventures LLC, <laughs> once per turn, I can use an illegal good in place gotcha. of any one resource. So that's gonna be in place of that mineral. And this development, I'm going to tuck uh, underneath my new planet because now it is fulfilling the research requirement of that planet. Perfect. And so for terminology wise, this is all yes. still your first turn. You're right. just taking three actions within your first turn. Correct. So those are my first two actions. And so for my third action, I'm actually going to take the Omniforge action, which is basically just producing the resources on my Omniforge card, okay. which is a gas. Gas and food. And food. It's okay. better than trading for them right now oh, because pesticides. these are essentially free. There you go. <laughs> all right. That is it for my turn. Uh, at the end of your turn, you refill any... Rows Perfect. Okay. that are not complete. What do we got here? No so, glint? Any glinting? No glinting. No glint. <laughs> it's the Ducat system. So Ducat. if you had the Ducat system, this would be great. This would be Because all yeah. three were from the Ducat system, including the planet that I took. Mm. But this is not from uh, the terrain of my my needing yep. either. Okay. So Okay, on to me. Uh, I think I am going to use my ability of advanced phase mechanics. Okay. So each turn, so this is my first turn, uh -huh. uh, you may swap the top cards of their of any two decks with the card from their corresponding row okay so let's put this one back in and then i'm going to swap this one okay all right so this with this so you're on, swapping glint it is Z zimi system zimi system okay and it's not a star it's either, not a star either so okay. there was no no uh no risk there yeah. What's the second deck? Uh, the second deck I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swap. I'm gonna swap this one. Let's get this one this? out of yeah. Okay, so this is the level one. Boom! Ooh, it's an agriculture card. I don't know if I don't know what you were wanting. Ah, uh, I just had an more opportunity. options. Yeah, Different more options. options. Okay, I think the very first thing is I'm gonna do something very similar. I would like another planet mm -hmm. to this corporation. So the the new one that came in, I this will one? yeah, I'll spend my one ship for that one. Okay, so this is one ship. Yep. Cost. There you go. Not from the glint system and no no energy. Uh, but there's no energy cards out there yet. What does it require? Uh, this one wants me to, it can build up to three different developments. Yeah. And it wants uh, three different brands, the red, the blue, and the green. Square software. Square software. <laughs> Pointed investments mm -hmm. and rounded bioworks. Exactly. Okay, very good. So it's action one. That's action one. Uh, action two, knowing that you're looking for research, I think I'm going to take that from you. You're going to take this? Yeah. And I oh, have the resources rude. needed. So okay. it's going to be uh, one mineral, one gas. Yes. Off it goes. There you go. But not only that, I mean, it it, yeah, it, it does you. help me towards, you know, one of these goals right here. Why did you just give that reason? <laughs> well, you know, I just have to really lay it out there. Okay. Um, and then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a trade. I'm going to I'm gonna manipulate the galactic market. Oh, okay. Here. So uh, the first one I want to do is I'm going to be uh, selling a research, knowing that I'm going to get one in production later on. Okay. So then it's this row. Yep. This it's is the research down. row up here. You can sell one for one energy. One, one energy. Okay. So this will go down and then it goes to the X side. Yes. Uh, and then now with this one energy, I'm actually going to be buying a food because I have no way to get food. So, okay. so off the, that food goes, this or, one is going to go. No, off up. the energy goes. Energy goes up. There we go. You got to welcome the food. Yes. And then that will flip. All right. And then that wraps up my turn. All right. So you've done your three actions. Let's go ahead and refill 
Uh, the development, we have a new planet. There you go. This is from the Ducat system Ducat again. Ducat system. It's the one different. that I had replaced. We knew shuffle? that. Oh, yeah, we knew this. We, we knew, knew this. That. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Okay, and then these also Those will all flip, flip over. And then we go into turn two. Turn two. So three actions in turn two. Now we do not produce until we get to the next round. Right. Now, one thing that I'm not sure if we mentioned during the teach is some cards come with a bonus action at the top right hand corner. If you purchase those cards, those actions must be performed immediately. If you'd like. <laughs> they're not they're not mandatory. All right, for my first action, I'm going to purchase a level one development. This is the agriculture card, and it gives me an illegal good during production, which I'm going to need in order to continue to utilize my uh, company's ability. Okay. So, oh, wait, hold on, I can't pay for it. <laughs> You can smuggle. I can't. Yes, yes. Um, sorry, I'm doing this out of order. Let me do the trade action first. Okay. So I'm going to start by buying a uh, a mineral. Okay. So I, I buy. I'm going to buy one. It's going to move up for next. one energy credit. So there's that. <laughs> yeah. I tried to buy something illegally. You did. I'm such a legitimate venture. <laughs> um, then I'm going to sell, seeing as you made the food so valuable. And I produced on my Omni Forge last turn. So I'm going to sell one food back. Yep. And at the top here, it says I gain two energy credits. So that's Ooh. that's quite nice. So there's the food. Here's the two energy. Okay. All right. So that was my first action. Second action is now purchasing this card. That development. The, this development. So I there's the mineral. Also. Yep. And this produces food and the illegal good. It's going to score me a minus one point at the end of the game, but maybe that's worth it, right? Yep. So I'm going to go ahead and attach it to this planet because it now will uh, contribute the food towards that goal. So all you I need just is need now gas. Gas, exactly. Yeah. So that's your second action. You get one more. It's so my second action. For my third action, I think I will purchase this level two development, mm. the off-world importer. So it is the only one in the display that had a smuggle action. Um, I'm being greedy, basically, okay. because I'm making it so that if Naveen wants to take this action, he'll have to pay me energy. I have no energy. So one ship and one gas. Well, it'll also sort of force you to use the market, the market then. Yeah. This I'm actually going to place underneath my, uh, my home planet because yep. this can hold up to three as well. So very good. That is it. Those are three actions. That's the end of my turn. So I'm going to go ahead and refill these empty spaces. Yeah, what do we got here? We have the wellness Ooh, center. Another one. This is just points. And points. then it looks like for each of these, if you do the bonus action for each of these uh, symbols, you gain a research token. Okay. Oh, this one is, uh, this <laughs> okay. one is different because this card, when you purchase it, you can choose to either purchase it using the top or by we're using an illegal good. Mm. And the bonus here says you get to steal a resource it's not good in a two-player game from an opponent yeah. no it's good and we need to re-flip these back over the market resets yes there that's right so okay. now it is to you for your uh, second turn okay so i'm gonna go ahead and do my special ability each turn i may swap the top card of any two decks so let's just do uh this card with this okay come on glint <laughs> no glint this okay. is kev kevron system okay and uh not the type of terrain that i need either so no. what's the second uh, the second one is going to be, this one is going to come on top. Okay. Yep. So you have Ooh. a research. What are you looking for? I'm, oh, yeah, this I'm, works, works for you. I'm looking for exactly that. There you go. For At the cost of one mineral, the low, low price of low one mineral. price of one mineral. Well, now that that showed up, it's going to change kind of what I was going to do. Okay. Um, so I am going to, uh, I'm going to use my Omni Forge. You can do an Omni Forge? Yeah. So I get a research and a... Mineral. Uh, mineral, yep. All right, there you go. So and that's your first action. First action, and then I will use that mineral to purchase that. Okay. So we both have a little negative here. There but, you go. Uh, this one, instead of tucking it, oh, no, I, I am going to tuck it here because it is the same symbol that I want. It's I want the, brand. the uh, pointed investment. So now all I'm looking for is that last one, the green one. Right, and again, the brand symbols are the large ones on the left mm -hmm. here. So I will be collecting, uh, when we go to produce, I'll get... Uh, three research, oh. which, is, which is really good towards uh, these as well okay. as this is out there. So that's something. Maybe Plus, I'm just I would get a, uh, not going to count on my supremacy token bonus good. here, Naveen. Yeah. yeah. And I think the last thing I'm going to do mm -hmm. is let's just get this planet out there. I'm, I'm going to get a planet. You're going to buy it? Yeah, I'm going to buy it. So All right. it's not the one I'm looking for, but it has some things that I want a gun for. Uh, so Soylent. Soylent. <laughs> Soylent from the Kevron system. Yeah. In case you're wondering, it is from the, it is a gas type. Okay. These are, oh, they're not terrain. They're planet types. Planet types. Yeah, so, that makes sense. There you go. 
Okay, so uh, this is going to want me to have, um, you know, a gas, a shipbuilding, and also energy. And the reason why I took this particular one mm -hmm. is because my goal is to have energy. So hopefully I can start loading them up here. Yeah, you definitely want to try to synergize, synergize. all of your goals. Yeah. All right, and that's it. You that's did all it. three actions, yep. right? So we move so on to the third round. We're moving on to the third turn. Turn, sorry, of the round, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, we just started. I know. So we already know this. This is the one that you keep on putting Giving back. It. Yeah. Yeah, all right. That's why I was pretty secure in taking this one uh -huh. as my last action, knowing that I'm the, I'm the one that put that last one back on. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, for my third turn, I think I'm going to start by trading with the galactic market. Okay. So right now, the exchange for research tokens is quite nice because it says I can turn in one energy token for two so you're of these. So I'm buying. So, so let's do it so first. So you're a buyer. Yeah, I'm going to buy her. I'm going to flip this over. <laughs> I move mean, it over to the buy. I am a buyer. Yeah. Okay. Two research tokens, and then I think, honestly, I think I'm not going to do the second. Not going to do the second. Yeah, I just don't have an immediate need okay. for that resource, and what if I need this token later? Okay. You know what I mean? Sure. For my second action, I'm going to purchase this planet, so it's going to cost me one ship, which I do have. And I uh, have no more ships left. I have no more ships left, but we're going to go into another round where I will po possibly be in trouble. So <laughs> we'll see. At least I have this smuggle ability now. Yep. So I can always gain at least one for one uh, energy, you sure. know? All right. So this is going to go here. It's action two. It's This is action two. It's a, it's a, from the Ducat system. If you're curious, it's a desert type. Yep. I should have had a desert type a uh, scoring condition because mm -hmm. I have two of them now. Anyway, it wants three different brands. Very similar to mine. They're very similar to yours. And so for my third action, I am going to purchase a development and I think it's going to be this shipyard. So nice. this is why I acquired the research token Ooh. because it requires a gas, research, and food. food. So these are the three. And it does belong to one of the three uh, brands does. that this planet is looking for. It belongs to the Hex Industries. But it's also going to gain me two ships and another uh, illegal good because my corporation lets me use one per turn. <laughs> yeah. So it would be nice to have three of them per turn, right? Ooh. But it's also scoring me another minus one point. Anywho, that is it. Seems that is good. the end of my third action. So we can yeah. go ahead and flip that over. We're going to flip this back. We have another, a new planet. This is from the Glint system. Glint system, you say. <laughs> All right. Your system. My it's finally system. here. This is Delamede. Uh, it's I also a I desert. Do. Yeah. A desert planet from the Glint system. All right. To you for your last turn. All right. So, uh, well, I think I'm definitely going to do the Glint system. So I don't even want to flip over, I don't think. You don't want to so, do your... Uh, oh, well, because it's going to fill in anyway. So th this one doesn't matter now. So okay. let's go ahead and... Uh, so one ship. Yeah, one ship. For this one, which is that. kind of a bummer because uh, remember how last time I took this one? Mm -hmm. Now I have to find a way to get one, two, three ship symbols in here. I mean, ships are a great resource because you need them in order to acquire planets. I know, planets, but you took the one that right? has two. So I did. That is I, true. I kind of wanted too bad. that. Yeah. <laughs> you can't take the refresh action. I could. To refresh one of these rows. So before doing that, I am going to put, I'm going to take my action now. Okay. So I'm going to put this one back on top and swap it. Okay. So you have this mining. Okay. It gives you a mineral. Mm -hmm. And then let's just go ahead and uh, do it for this one right here. So I'm going to put this one back on top, and then I'm going to move this one over here. And right. then I'm going to, as my second action, I am going to do a refresh of this row right here. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this is the off-world exporter, by the way. Mm -hmm. It has a smuggle action, which is one ship and any other resource for three energy tokens. Yeah. Well, so you're refreshing this? I'm refreshing that because okay. I do not want that steal from me card so, in play. <laughs> again, it must be from a full row, which it was. So oh, you don't want me to steal from you. I don't have I, any. You would definitely <laughs> you would definitely take that from. <gasps> okay. Well, here are your new options. Okay. We have shipyard. Which I knew ships, I was going to have. Yep. Mining and another shipyard. And then the last action I'm going to take is I am going to reserve a card. Okay. So I'm going to reserve this card here. This one. Okay, so this is the shipyard, which uh -huh. I need ships, and then I know uh, we're going to go into a production phase yes. on the next one. So my Omniforge produces exactly the two resources needed for this, so it's uh, good to have this in my hand right smart. now. Yeah. Too bad I don't have this in play going into the next round, though. Uh, that's okay. You're going to be first. Player, I will be first, yeah. So you can keep that in mind when making these decisions. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's it for your turn? That's it. Okay, so let's go ahead and refill uh, these two cards in the display. Here we go. Is this... Hobble system. Oh, no, it's still not a star still type. Not a star type. This is a gas okay. type mm -hmm. planet. 
All right, and that is it. So then we move on to the next phase, which is discarding resources if you have more than seven. Uh, I'm now, not going to discard any? Even though we have fewer than seven, we can choose to discard resources because you're going to move the market down one. I'm not going to do it. Okay. Seeing as you are first player next round, I am also not going to do it. Okay. But there you go. That is the last phase. Right. And that is the end of round one. So uh, we have some preliminary buildings of our some corporations stuff, yeah. going on, mm -hmm. uh, but we do have three more rounds to go. So shall we move on to round two? Yes. All right. Now let's move into the first event phase. All right. Naveen. So let's see if it's anything good. War or peace. <laughs> Each player may choose to gain either two ships or two food. Ah. Really? Okay. What would you like? So we've got, let's place the event cards here. Ah, oh, two ships or two food. Yeah, I mean, these events are generally good. So I have planets that need to get filled nice. in. Um, yeah, what are you not producing? I mean, I'm not producing ships or food. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to go with two food, though. Two food? Two food. Okay, there you go. And you can't mix and match. It has to be... No, it's either... Uh, Two. All or the other one. Yep. The thing is, I'm producing two of each. I have two food and two ship production. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go with ships. Okay. Just because ships I know for sure the planets need them. Yep. All right. So that's that. Let's go ahead and move on to production. Naveen, since you're first player, let's do yours first. Okay. So I produce uh, one mineral. Okay. One, two, three research. I have a lot of research. You have a lot and of research. And then um, one uh, illegal good. One illegal good. I hope yes. that comes to bite you later. Yeah. Since <laughs> since you're taking over my supremacy. Yeah, I can't let you All you'll that. have is research. Yep. Um, okay. So I gain one uh, gas one food here i gain another research a food a an illegal good and then two ships and an illegal good wow so lots and that's good for you because illegal goods yes legitimate ventures can really legitimate use them ventures are happy <laughs> yeah. have a lot all of right resources. all right let's go ahead and move into player turns starting with you this time yep. Naveen. definitely the first thing i want to do is uh take advantage of my ability so okay. i'm gonna do this row with this card so right. there we go that's We've got one. agriculture. Ooh, so agriculture. Two food. Two food. Okay. Uh, and then the other one I'm going to do is let's just replace uh, this one. This one? Yeah, with that. Okay, here. There you go. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Trying to make this not messy. All right. Okay. So level one, shipyard. Mm, shipyard. Okay, seeing as we want to build as many developments as possible, because that's what the game is asking us to do, uh -huh. uh, I'm going to go ahead and build. So... I'm going to do this one. I'm going to produce, or not produce, um, I'm going to You're purchase, gonna purchase this one. Yeah. So I'm going to pur purchase a refinery, yeah. which is going to cost me a mineral and a food. Nice. And that is one of the criteria on my uh, Soylent planet over here. So tuck <laughs> that in. Okay. Just like that. Soylent planet. Soylent planet. So I cannot purchase from this one ever again. Uh-huh. Ever again? Ever again. I think the next action I'm going to do, uh, I, I'm not very diverse in my resources here, so I'm going to have to be visiting the galactic market. Okay. Uh, so I am going to go ahead and definitely uh, trade or sell one of these okay. for a coin. So for it's going to go coin. down. There you uh, go. Coin, Are you going to buy something else? Uh, yes. So then uh, I am going to then uh, trade this away okay. <laughs> and, and buy myself a green food. I'm okay. oh, sorry, not food, a gas. A gas. So All the right. gas is going to go up like that. There you go. Yeah. So there that was action number two? That was action two. I think for my last action, I have to take the Omni Forge action. Oh, okay. So, one, so one. one blue, one purple. One blue, one purple. There you go. Okay. All right. That's me. Done? Yep. Okay, so I'm going to refill this. And can you flip over yep. that token? You got it. Thank you. This is a mining card. Okay. So it gains you minerals. Mm -hmm. All right, so then back to me for my first turn. And Naveen actually took the card that I wanted. Yep. So. <laughs> I'm going to start by refreshing. You know, once and for all, let's find oh, myself go, a planet. planet. Yeah, because the planets will give you things to work towards. Yeah, So goals. Here's, oops, I think I have this upside down. One, two, <laughs> three. <laughs> three. There okay. Maybe just the one card was. Yeah, I think just the one card. All okay. right. No glints, huh? No glints, but... Kevron system over here, mm. or Kevron planet from the Kevron system, does uh, have the star type, which is what... I'm looking for. Okay. So for my second action, I'm going to purchase this planet. So that's two. Plus a ship. Okay. And yes, that was action number two. It wants me to have three. Oh, interesting. The rounded. Three developments from the rounded bioworks, which would make uh, getting this partnership card enticing. Mm -hmm. so you have one action left. Yes. With my last action, I'm going to purchase this development, mm. this mining. Nice. Um, Dang. Because it does belong to that. 
It's the thing I need to wrap this, this whole thing up right here. And I, I need the green. Oh, really? <laughs> yes, I need the green. I right didn't here. even uh, I didn't even hate draft that seriously. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, I also am not producing any minerals, so that's another reason why this was. Uh, this was nice. So, oh, do I spend a? You could spend your. Uh, I wonder illegal. if you should spend an illegal good because well. this what is are you using them for? purchasing power, yeah. just in case, right? Okay, I'm going to spend an illegal good um, instead of the energy Coin. token because yep. it said one illegal good in place of any one token when purchasing a card. Okay, so here's the green and the illegal good. All right. I'm assuming it's going underneath that planet that wants three of those. Yes. Okay. It's going to go there. And I think those were three actions. Yeah, I refreshed and purchased yep. two cards. All right. So, so I'm going to slide I'm this go ahead over. And refill this. It's another research, maybe. And if you want to <laughs> collect more research. Oh, another research? Are you kidding me? But this is from the Glint system. Uh, the problem is I have no ships. Well, at That's least why getting it's there. Out there. So at least it's an option. And it's Eesh. not a star. So it's not. It's not a star. You know, so. Anywho, ah. that is it for our first turns. Back to you for turn number two. Okay, I'm not liking my situation, but I am going to finally put the shipyard into play. Okay. So this is the uh, mineral and research mm -hmm. is what's required. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tuck it under this Kevron system here. So now I'm two-thirds of the way uh, towards this goal. I just need to find energy. I, we still have not seen any energy um, yet. Uh, the next thing I definitely want to do is I want to trade. Okay. So I unfortunately am going to have to give up two of my research to get uh, one, one coin, energy. yeah. Okay. Yeah, so this is gonna go down and over. Here you go. You're, Sorry. S you're selling. Selling, so it's gonna go to this slot here, which is not not the nicest exchange. Okay. I think I'm only gonna do one trade, unfortunately, because I have no way of producing food right now, mm -hmm. and I can't really afford to get rid of any of my other resources. Okay. And I can't trade any more of these, so I'll just leave it at one trade, unfortunately. Okay, and then the last thing I'm gonna do um, is I'm going to go ahead and, t well, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take these two, uh -huh. and I'm gonna buy this, this? this ship. Yeah. Okay. I nice. need a lot of ships, um, especially because I have no ships. <laughs> yeah, so, that'll get you closer. Yeah, this sure. one I'm gonna tuck under here, and so now okay. I'm one away from here. Also. Nice. You uh, just need one more. I just need one more to meet the scoring criteria. Yeah. You're actually doing well in your scoring stuff. And then I am going to uh, I'm gonna toss this one on top and then swap it. So with my uh, my free ability. Oh, so okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this one out. This one is now going to go on top. Okay. And then uh, for the planets wise, is there any? Uh, I will just do only one of them. I, okay. I may, uh, yeah, uh, any two decks. I don't want to do two decks. All right, so let's go ahead and refill this. Okay. Oops. So this is mining. Uh, oh, this is another one of those steely cards. Oh, no. <laughs> don't do it. All right, so then it is back to me for my second turn. Mm -hmm. First, I'm going to purchase a level two development, and I think I'm just going to buy this one mm -hmm. since it has the brand that I need for one of my planets. Um, it is a bit expensive, though. <laughs> it costs two food, okay. a research, a an energy token, and gas. I don't have that, so I'm going to use the ability. Ill illegal good. Yeah, my yep. turn. I mean, my, my company's ability. Sure. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this in. And this has a, a bonus action that says that I gain an energy coin for each illegal good belonging to my opponents. Oh. So you have one. I have one. So I'll gain one coin back. So you get a discount, basically. For yeah. that. No, I have to still be able to pay for it. I guess, like, you get a refund. I get there a refund yeah. on my coin. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to place this under here. So it is the, the blue. The one. blue. The pointy. I just need the red one. To okay. complete this system. Action one. That's action one. Then I'm going to take an Omniforge action because I need gas. So I need one uh, gas and one food. Okay. That is my... So that's action two. Omniforge. And for my third action, I'm going to purchase this. Yeah. The research it has, it's part of that brand, uh, Rounded Works, that I need for this planet. And it's going to cost a gas and a an energy. So mm -hmm. I'm so glad I, I didn't spend that energy last, sure. last turn. So this is going to go here. I just need one more uh, to complete that. Okay. And that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and refill yes. this for you. So we go into you. the last turn. Hey, this is a red. Who needed this? Oh, I need a uh, red. You do. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And this gets refilled. This is a shipyard. This is a the third ship that you need. It is. Just for one research token, but it also produces illegal goods. Mm -hmm. All right. The first action I think I'm going to take mm -hmm. is I'm going to do this one. Okay, so are you going to pay a gas, a food, and an energy, no. or one illegal good? Illegal good for sure. Oh, oh, go. this is the one? Yeah, so I get to steal from it's you. backfired on so, me. What are you going to steal? Uh, I'm going to steal a ship, seeing that I have none. Okay. So I'll take that ship. That uh, and then this one is going to go, I'm going to put it here at my home base because okay. uh, none of these two symbols match any of the things I'm looking for here, mm -hmm. so I don't want to clog it up. So 
Let's just right. tuck this underneath there. So that means I'm going to produce another mineral. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I'm going to steal, oh, I already got, stole the shit from you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just, <laughs> just steal again. Just once. Yeah. Uh, but the Stealing <laughs> is not an action no. uh, in this game. Second action, though, that I am going to take is I see another glint out there. And now yes. with this newly acquired ship, I will take nice. glint. So we're going to start encroaching uh, on we are each other's uh, physically areas here. encroaching. Yeah. yeah. There you go. That's okay. Okay. Still good. All right. Legitimate ventures. Uh-huh. All right. Uh, so that's action two. And my last action, I'm actually going to be reserving a card. I'm going to reserve oh. this one here. So I, I didn't end up using my special ability because I kind of yeah. saw everything that I, I needed to do. So I'm going to reserve this card for the future. Okay. All right. Okay. So let's go ahead and refill mm -hmm. these going into my final action. Oops. Yep. Sorry. There you go. That's Got one. For you. Please be star type. Uh, I think is it, it is. Is it star type? Is it star type? No. Oh, it's not. Looks like it. Very ah, close, though. It's an ice type, ice. unfortunately. I see. Okay. Right. Well, Your for last actions. my last uh, turn of the round, I'm going to move these really quickly. Yeah, sure. Just so we can differentiate. All right. Well, seeing as I have ships in my supply now, I think mm -hmm. I'm just going to refresh the planets, my okay. first action. Action one. Okay. So this is action one, because I need to find some some stars. There's this one. star? Yeah. Ha-ha. Okay. <laughs> so that was... Action one, that's the okay. only star. So I'm gonna take it action for two. my second action. Yeah. Purchasing that planet. This is Belvida, a star type from the Belvida system. <laughs> it's pretty in blue. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. This wants three uh, brands. So oh, it wants the more brands. The heart. You're all brand. Yes, I am all brand. I have lots of associations. Brands. And for my third action, I think I'm going to do the my Omniforge action okay. again. I've done this quite a few times gas this game. Gas and uh, food. Yes, one gas, one food. Right All right, that is it. That's that it. is yeah. the end of my turn. So this is from the Zimi system, mm -hmm. and it's not a star type. I need one more, one more to, to complete this. Yeah. Because I don't think the planet has to be scoring in order for it no, to meet this. I think you just have to purchase three. In your possession. Right. Yeah, so we're both on the cusp. Uh, we both have, I have two glints and you uh -huh. have two um, star type. Two star type. Okay, well, that is the end of the player's turn. So let's go ahead and discard tokens if you have more than seven. Yeah. Would you Would you like to choose to discard? Um, so I could manipulate the market to make it more favorable, but I'm not going to do that. No, actually, I think it makes it less favorable. because Oh, sorry, it goes to the, the sell side, yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, no, I will not be doing that. All right, and I won't either. Okay, makes sense. Uh, so that's the end of the second round. We're going mm -hmm. straight into the third round. You're going to get the uh, first player marker. Yes, we're we, halfway through. Yeah, move this token over, and then now that means we have a new event. What All right. it be? It is going to be rocket science. Okay. okay. Each player may choose either two research or two gas. Ah. Uh, I'll take two gas. Oh, you already know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I have so much research coming. Oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> I have no gas. Com I have one gas coming. I guess, I guess you could use all the research to get this. But yeah, I could. And I think I'm going to take research. Research. Okay. So I need some research tokens. All right. That is the event. Mm -hmm. Now let's move into production. Since I'm first player, I guess I'll go with mine first. Sure. So I get two illegal goods yep. this time. Oh my gosh. Um, how many blue? One, one, one mineral? Blue. Yep. Uh, one gas? Yep. How many food? Two food? Two food. And two research? Two research. And two ships. Two ships. Oh there my you go. goodness. You got a lot of stuff. All right. Well, you yeah. want to call out yours? Yeah. So I have, um, let's see, I have no money. Okay. Uh, one illegal good. Yep. Okay. And then what are we on? Blue? Yes. I have two blue. Two blue. Okay. Uh, one green. One green. There you go. Okay. One, two, three research. Three and then research. I get uh, two ships. Two ships. Wow. More. That is nice. so much more. I mean, it's been three turns, right? So yeah. it does make sense. But every round, you're just producing more and more stuff. More. Yeah. All right. So you have a lot of stuff. I'm gonna, let me just group these really quick. All right. So then starting with me, uh, for my first action, I think I'm going to trade okay. at the galactic market. I need a coin. Okay. So I think I'm going to trade green okay. because so I can always sell. make it. Yes, I'm okay. going to sell, sell green. So it's one, four, two. Two coins. Energy tokens. Yep. Okay. Are you going to do another one? And then I'm going to buy these, the research. Research. You're buying research. Because that's research. a great uh, exchange. Really? So for one energy, I can take three. Oh, no. Three oh. tokens. Okay. One, two, three. All right. Now I'm going to buy... This card. I can't believe you're gonna buy that. And I'd be like, <laughs> I have exactly what it needs. I need oh. it. I need it for the green, the green. part. So oh. it was like a double dipper. It's five points and my last green for this yeah. planet. Yeah, that's a nine I wasn't point finding turn. the green uh, production anywhere else. 
So well, looks like I'm not doing that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. So six so research. One, two, three, four, four five, five six. six. Oh, that's a good uh, rocket science for you. Yeah. Six research and two ships. Mm -hmm. One, two. Okay, so this is going to go where here? Uh, I believe so. So now it completes um, planet. this planet. Yeah. And that, it's That's a nine-point point turn. Yeah, five plus the four for completing it. All right. So that's that. Those are my first two, two actions. actions. And for my last action, I'm going to purchase this card, a level one development. It costs one food and a mineral. Okay. And it's going to gain me the ship, but really it belongs to the brand that I need okay. for uh, Belvita over here. Okay. Okay. Those were all three actions, all I believe. Three, yeah. So let's go ahead and refill Flip. these. This is yeah. asteroid Flip. drill. So this is pr um, primarily gas. Okay. And then you, re you replace it with this. Yep. Oh, you can pay just one uh, illegal good. Probably gonna do that because there's a steal on it. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. So it's to you. Back to me. Okay. Well, I know. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna spend spend my illegal good. Okay. Uh, instead of paying these three things. Sure. Uh, this one is the green symbol I need to finish off this planet over here. Okay. So that's a big one for me, and I get to steal from you, Monique. What are you gonna steal? Well, let me tuck this under here, and then I think I'm going to steal from you. I think I'm gonna take your ship. My ship? Yeah. My one ship? Your one ship. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. All right. That was so action one. That was action one. Uh, so then the next thing I'm going to do is I want to use my ability here. Okay. So let's just uh, put back, let's just put back this one and then we'll replace it with a card. Okay. Yeah. Anything? This is Ithia from mm. the Belvida system. The Belvida system. And it is not a star type. It's not a star type. It's a Terra type. Air type, okay. Yes. And then the other row that I'm going to do this on is going to be um, this one right here. There. So let's bring that back. Okay. Bring that up. It's a refinery. Refinery. So this one makes gas. It's the one that you need. You said you needed something that makes gas, right? Uh, no. Oh. I need energy. That's what that's what I'm looking for. Oh, yes. Yeah, not coming. All right, second action. I'm going to put this card that's in reserve in play. Mm -hmm. So this is going to cost me a gas in one of those ships, the okay. one I just gathered from you. Oh, it's a And now card. I have a smuggle ability. So I'm going to toss this under. Okay. Just like that. What and is then, your ability? Uh, I can uh, turn in a ship and any other good mm. for three coins. Nice. Coins have been so hard to come by for me. And it's a good of that specific shape, mm -hmm. which means no, uh, no energy tokens, stuff. but also no illegal goods. Yep. And the last action for me, I'm just going to reserve this card that's in this development. Okay. That's it. Done? That's it. All three. All right. So we have agriculture. Mm -hmm. and a refinery. Yeah, and then we're going to move this over. Okay, for my first action, I'm going to purchase this refinery. Gotcha. So this is going to cost one food and one energy token. So there's that. Okay. And this is the third of the rounded uh, Bioworks cards that Which I need is needed for, for that planet. For planet Kevron. Mm. All right. Then I'm going to refresh the planets. Okay. So these are going. So this is action two. This is action two. One, so we have two, all from the, three, oh, we have oh, a glint system for you. Glint. Oh, but it is, it is also of the type mm. that I need. So then for my third action, I'm going to spend one of my illegal goods to represent a ship as per my company. What a hate draft. Legitimate ventures. It's, it's actually and not it's your, a no. hate draft yeah. because I need it. It's the third one, the third <sighs> of the star the types. I need. That nice. I needed, so I'm definitely scoring these four points at the end of the game. All right, good. that is that, that is it good. for my turn. Good for you. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the shipyard. Ooh. There you go, and uh, this is Hobble System. Mm. Planet is Anzola. All right, it is to you for your second turn. Okay, I think I'm going to take my ability and uh -huh. see if we can. Uh, let's just toss this one back on top. Okay, and then flip that over. Oh, there we go. This is what you needed. This. That energy is what I need. Oh, it's interesting. A mineral and a resource. Which I have, right? Yes, I have those. So um, yeah, and it's great because you have this planet here that I, needs. But this planet also needs it. Oh, so, so you have to I might make have a, to a toss choice. it into here, unfortunately. Okay. So uh, and then the other one I'm gonna do is let's just toss this one back and then flip that one over. Okay. This is a CEO Monument. So it's just part of the heart brand, but you can you get a a gas for each of those types you have. Mm -hmm. Okay, now that I see it, I have to do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna get this card right there. So yeah. uh, I have one, two, these two items. Yeah, you've been looking for this. I've been so. looking for this badly. So this is going to be very good for me uh, as of right now. So I'm gonna uh, I'm not gonna use it for its brand, which needs to go here on this planet. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna toss it under here. 
All right. And essentially what that does is I have my green, my ship red, and then my uh, energy production. Uh -huh. So this planet is going to score, and as of right now, I am leading with this, which is my personal thing. So that's a seven-point turn Yes. as of right now. Right. Okay, so that's action one. I think for my second action, I'm going to wipe the planets. Let's go ahead and get a nice little refresh. Okay. Let's Looking find for some glint. glint. Still, one I glint. see Hubble system. Two glint. The Vida Three system. Cavron. Glintless. System. You can refresh again, just so you know, for your oh, final, for my action. final action. I think I'm going to go ahead and trade then for my final action. Okay. So I am going to give up. Uh, I'm going to give up one of these blues since they're the so most valuable. I'm going to sell it for two coins. All right. All right. And, and then, then I think I will. I should probably trade again. <laughs> I'm gonna buy a food. So okay. let's go ahead and give back one coin. For one? For one, one for one, yep. Okay. So this is gonna go over here. So one food. That's it. Oops. There you go. That's supposed to be an X, but that's, I believe that's my third turn, so these can all flip back your over. Third, your third action? Yeah, my third, a third action. All right. Mm -hmm. So, oh, this is just on top like that. Oh, sorry. yeah. <laughs> that was the one I put back. I, oh, yeah. okay, well, that goes on top. Mm -hmm. So it is a mining, and now it is to me? Yep. For my uh, This is gonna my third be turn? third turn, yep. All right, for my first action, I'm going to trade, trade. for the galactic market. You made the food pretty I did. sweet, so I'm going to sell yeah. one food, uh, and that's going to get me two, two, points. two energy uh, tokens, one of which I'm going to spend to purchase uh, research tokens. Okay. So I'm buying, so I get wow, two. Wow, look at you. Two, now, it's, now it's all back to even, but I'm going to gain two research tokens. Mm -hmm. All right, so my, that was my first action. For my second action, I'm going to purchase a brand partnership. The round works. The round works. Uh, round rounded, rounded bio works. Bio works, yeah. <laughs> you abbreviated that so I much. Did. So it's going to cost four research tokens. They all do. And at the end of the game, this is definitely scoring me two points minimum, minimum yeah. because I have three of their symbols. And I'm just going to keep this tucked under yeah, my that's company fine. card. Don't remember that. Yes. All right. And then for my third action, um, I think I'm going to buy this. This is the shipyard. I don't have any more tokens, so Ooh. it's gonna. I'm gonna use my illegal good. It is minus one point. It is. But at least with these cards, I'll have three illegal goods. One that I could use per turn in the final round, if need be. Yeah. And it still helps me, uh, hopefully, try to fulfill this planet. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it. Those are my three actions. Okay. So can you go ahead and flip over those for me, yeah, please? Yeah, you got it. And hey. Maybe it's another uh, one of these. Another one of those. You were you were looking for them so I, I was upset. so much. I was upset. <laughs> All right. All right. For your final turn. So I'm going to take my uh, free action, which is going to be um, clearing some of these out. Okay. So just one of these. I'm just going to put this on top. It doesn't really matter. Find swap glint. that with this. Is that glint? This is glint. Oh shoot. The glint system. It wants. Millhaven. It wants a bunch of. Of ships. Ships. I mean, you don't have to fulfill it. I don't. You can just take the card. I could just take the card to get four points. Yeah. And I'm going to replace this one. Okay. With a with level two. One. Level two. The refinery. Refinery. All right. Okay. So uh, second action is I'm going to get this one into play. So okay. this one is a wellness center. Mm -hmm. um, and so this one is going to be a research, a coin, mm -hmm. food, and, and two, two ships. ships. Is so, this your first action? This is uh, my uh, first action, your I apologize. First action. Yes. First, first action. action. Yep. There okay. we go. So I'm going to toss that under. You get a bonus. I d uh, well, the bonus uh, in the top right corner says for every one of these kind of wave symbols, I get a research. That I planet type. actually have none of those. Ah, unfortunate. okay. Unfortunate. Yeah. So okay. not a big deal, but it is worth three points, and it is two towards the three needed for this one over here. Mm hmm. Um, the next action I'm going to take is I'm going to I'm going to construct this one. So this one says uh, I need a oh wait you don't have I don't have so mineral. I have to um, I have to do my aura your omniforge omniforge yeah so okay so mineral and research uh, yeah one mineral one research and then now I will construct this which is going to be food and mineral okay and that's my last action so the shipyard is going to go under here in a timely fashion which is nice. All right. So that's going to score that because this planet is complete. I can no longer build on this planet. Okay. So you built something from your hand. Mm -hmm. You did your Omniforge action, and then you built this. Correct. All right. So that is the end of your turn. That'll this flip. is agriculture. It is a food uh, producing card. How many resources do you have? Uh, one. Oh, one, you have two, to discard. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, I do have to discard. So, yeah, I'm not going to discard anything. How could it be? But you have to discard one. All right. The one abundant research okay. uh, resource, so and this will go down. down because of that. 
All right. All right. Yeah, very good. And that is it for round three. So for the final time, it's I'm going to pass the first player marker. To me. And we're going to go into the final round. So this is our last chance to sort of clean up some of the planets that still need uh, some cards in order to fulfill the requirements. I'm gonna try. Yeah. So uh, we are going to move this on uh -huh. over. We do have an event. Yes. So let's see what we have. Opportunity. During this round, the planet and development rows each have four cards rather than three. Oh, I like wow. that. And there's some other text that says when you discard this event, you move all cards to the bottom of their decks and refresh back to three cards in each row. That would so be had this have been an, an earlier, earlier round, yeah. round, then that would be an opportunity to actually all refresh right, so the rows. So let's put one extra out. That's wow. nice. Wow. Although I don't really see us. Oh, actually, I think we can. You can just I think we have space stuff, for a fourth yeah, stuff card. One over there. So it's the planet, all the entire display? Everything, yep. Wow. The, the planet and development rows each and have development four rows. cards, yeah. Okay. So... I get this last one for you. Thank you. That means I have to move my resources. Oh, look at how much money this one requires. That's not going to happen. Okay, so that's the money uh, predominant uh, mega. <laughs> All right. Mega development. Mega thingy. All right. All right, very good. So now for the final time, we are going to produce our resources, but we're not going to make you sit through it. We'll sure. see you after. All right, we are done with production. So these are all the things I end up having. Yes. And then those are what you have over there. Right. So we have ships, a little bit of everything. And now it is to you. To me. For your first turn. Okay, so uh, I am not going to be using this because I, I see some cards that I really like. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take, uh, I'll take the glint one. So it's time to finally get this. Okay, so your third. It's gonna cost, yeah, my third glint. So there you go. Oh, thank you. Or you know what? Actually, I'm sorry. I should I should just just in case there's a better glint out there. A better glint? Yeah. Okay. Because I don't want to have to deal with finding three ships. Right. If I can find something that's a little bit more uh more better. There okay. you go. So, all right. It's, okay, it's not a glint. That's it's fine. It's not a glint. That's fine. Oh, okay. Okay. So now I will just only just do that one. So I will take that. Wait, do you wanna do a second deck before um, you do your first action? No, because I, I know eventually I'm going to take from all three. Okay, so, so you want to buy this. Yeah. Oh, no, not that one, the glint. Oh, sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry. Yeah. You want to buy this. There we go. It's the same yeah. price. Uh-huh. Okay. So, all Very right, good. so this uh, this will go here technically. So I'm just going to kind of overlap this. I okay. know we're getting a little tight here, but we can tell by the graphic yeah. design that it's going to be a little bit different. So now I have one, two, three in my glint system. So I know for a fact that uh, my advanced phase mechanics mm -hmm. Corporation is going to score. Very good. Okay, so that's uh, number one. Number two is going to be, I'm going to take this card. Okay. And so this one is going to basically allow me to um, spend a uh, illegal good. Okay. We'll take that one, and this is going to kind of secure this just a little bit more for me because I need to have more uh, energy producing than you. And so this makes me have two to your zero. I don't correct? have any, yeah. yeah. This one, I'm just going to tuck it with my new glint because I doubt I'm going to be able to score this by the end of the game. So okay. that's okay. So that's that. And okay. then uh, the very last... Oh, this one... Um, oh, you, let, you get to steal. I do get to steal. Yeah, that was the one last thing I forgot to mention. Uh, seeing as I don't have too much uh, green, uh, I'll take your, your green my from green, you. My green? My gas? Your gas. All right. <laughs> take Anything your gas from you. Anything else? Uh, so that was, uh, was that two so far? Because you, you did your corporation. Three. You One, purchased this and two. this. You yep. didn't reserve anything. I didn't reserve anything, right? and no. you didn't refresh anything. So. No, but what I will do is I will take uh, this one. So I'm going to... Reserve it? Reserve it. Okay. Uh, I'm going I'm to buy it. Oh, you're going to purchase yeah. it. So two mineral. Uh-huh. Two green. Okay. So these do go back to you. Thank and then you. this, I will toss under my home planet. Um, and so this will allow me to produce uh, more of these brown, but honestly, it's not really, it's not really anything, but... We have to remember the developments at the end of the game. Yes. So we need to develop at least a 14. So 3, 6, 9, yeah, 10, 11, that. 12, 13, 14. Oh, so you're going to score one point, one point as of right yeah. now. Yeah. But each additional development will get you more, one more, step more. higher on that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, done? That's it. All right, so let's go ahead and refill these. So we have agriculture. This is yellow. It's a generator. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know how much more we're looking into getting planets, but if you're curious, this is from the Belvita system. All right, so then it is back to me for my first turn. And first, I'm going to buy this level one yeah. development agriculture. So it costs one mineral and an energy. Uh, it also produces food, but we're not going to produce anymore. So it's I'm another just going to assign yeah, that's good. this. Yeah, it's another uh, one of this brand that I'm trying to collect. And did it finish off that planet? And it finishes oh, off this there you planet. Go. Yeah, that's yeah, good. That is, that's the kicker. Okay, that's one. All right, that's my first action. For my next action, I'm going to buy another development. So this is action number two. Wow, you got it all the It costs greens, huh? one mineral, but I'm going to spend an illegal good 
two gas. Oops. Oh, do I not have you a coin? You don't have a coin, yeah. Oh, wait. That means I must trade. Now you can smuggle. No. I do have three coins I don't here. have any coins to give you. Oh, I see. Oh, that's true. All right. I guess I will uh, trade. And I'm going to trade with the... I'm going to trade a ship. Ship. So I'm selling. So selling for one. One. One for one. For one coin. Okay. Are you going to do any others? Oh, my gosh. What if I need it? That's the now's scary the, part. The time. No, I'm just going to leave it at that. Okay. So I'm just going to trade that just one. The one. I'm just too scared of needing these resources so late in the game. Okay. So I was buying this. Yes. So okay. that's action three, right? So this is... Uh, action three because I did the trade yeah, in between. Yeah, one trade. Then. So the illegal good is for the mineral, two gas, and that energy. Uh, Do you have the? Did you max out on the green? I did. So I don't have to worry about the green anymore because the my brand partnership was only up to a max to of five. five. Yeah. So I'm gonna get the full seven. And this actually does not contribute towards yeah. anything. Anything. So I'm just gonna put it underneath my home planet because it can hold three. Okay. All right. That is the end of my turn. So now you okay. have a new. Oh, there. What Chips. is that? Ships. Ooh. That's like exactly what you need. It is. And, oh, there's another one of those energy yeah. tokens, but this it's also is minus one point. one point. I'm glad I took that that green uh, uh, card instead of this one. Yeah. All right. It is to you. To back to you for your second turn. Okay. I'm just going to scoot this over a little bit. Sure, yeah. I think you have space. First thing I want to do is I want to see some more uh, cards. So I'm, I'm going to flip over. Let's just get rid of... Let's just get rid of this one. Okay. And then... So, oh, purple. Okay, purple. And then let's just get rid of this one as well. All right. What do we got? Purple. Uh, pink. Pink, okay. And yes, it's a research card. Okay. Let's just refresh this entire row. This entire yeah, row? let's get rid of it. So this is action number one. Action number one. All right. I'm trying to find something very specific. What are you trying to look for? Well, I also, there was two research icons on there, and I can't let you have them because then that's an extra three points for you. Okay. All well, right. we have two cards here that have smuggle actions, and we haven't really been doing the smuggle mm -mm. action much, but these are useful. It's a black market that lets you trade uh, the illegal goods for a coin and vice versa, and then the one that you have, right. the one ship plus any other good for three coins. Now, one other type of card that we haven't really been seeing, and we didn't discuss in Teach, actually, is the Communications Array. This is for a set collection across all of your planets, mm -hmm. and the points awarded are not per card, it's for the entire set. I unfortunately am going to have to refresh this as well. So that's my second action. That okay. did not feel very good. Come on. One, two, three, four. Oh, there you are. Okay. So that's what you're looking for? Yeah, this I need one? another gray to, okay. to complete this uh, this planet over here. So, And then that would be another development card. Mm -hmm. Seeing as I have one last action and I don't have a mineral right now, I'm just going to reserve this card for the future. So that's my third action. Okay, you didn't have any cards reserved in your hand? I didn't. Okay. All right. That's it. So let's go ahead and see a new card. This is agriculture. Oh, you have to pay two energy tokens two. for that. You're basically just buying it. All right, so then it goes back to me for my second turn. Mm -hmm. First, I'm going to purchase this uh, development card. Okay. So it costs one mineral and a food. I'm going to use an illegal good in place of the mineral. Okay. And this I'm going to place under um, my last planet card. How many of those lab symbols do you have? Or those research, research symbols? Yeah. One, two, three. Uh oh. Oh, you have three? I have three. How many oh, do you have? Oh, I have two. Ooh. I was hate drafting this whole time. That's I even great. wiped one just to make sure you didn't get it. So, dang. Because this home one does not count towards it. The Omniforge, it. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't count towards it. Oh, that's great. Mm. All right. For my second action, I'm going to do the Omniforge action. So it's green, gas, and the brown food. Okay. And for my third action, I'm going to purchase uh, the refinery. So it's it costs three. Three food. Three food and, and one ship. ship. So I'm really glad that I did not spend additional tokens that one turn. Oh, uh, yeah. To trade. Okay. I'm just going to put this under here. That completes this this planet scoring for me. Yes, man. You're completing those. All right. Those are all three actions. So let's get you some new cards. Okay. Okay. And it goes one, back two. to you. So this is another one of those communications array cards. Ooh, what a so bummer. these two would be a part of that set. All right. So then it is back to you for your final turn of the game. This is the last turn. <laughs> Finish up those planets because your whole corporation uh, sort of depends on it. All right, my very first action. Uh, I think drafting this card is not going to work out for me. It's, oh, okay. it's going to be a wasted turn because this one is just way more affordable. The one I drafted or took uh, uh, into my possession uh -huh. requires a mineral, which would require me to now then trade to mm -hmm. get get this back in because I really want this symbol. Okay. This showed up, so I'm just going to go ahead and pay that. So it's going to be a gas and a food. Okay. 
Uh, and then this will slot into this spot here, which is going to complete this planet. Nice. That that works out right there. We did there. it. That's one action. Uh, the next action is because I have one, two, three, four symbols. I should, and I have all these. I should mm. probably get one of these. <gasps> this one. Yeah, four That's of those. For? It's either the that or the, or the four uh, four red. One, two, three, four. So either okay. way, yeah, we'll just go ahead and do that. Okay. So that's go. action number two? Two, yep. And then Very so good. I'm just going to go ahead and take the cross labs, and I'll just keep this kind of with me just like you did. Okay. And knowing that we want more developments to score points, I think the only way I can score points on my last turn, this is unfortunate that I have this card, mm -hmm. uh, is going to be this one here. Okay. Everything else costs either minerals or things I just straight up don't have. Okay. So it's uh, one energy, mm -hmm. one ship. That's it. And then I'll take this one, and I do have a place to house it. It's going to go on this non-scoring planet anyway. So there we go. Nice. That's my turn, and unfortunately, I have a card left in my hand. That's okay. Yeah, I know. <laughs> the it's, reserved card is not going to hurt you It anymore. hurts me because it was an action. It can't hurt you anymore. It, was, it can't hurt me anymore. <laughs> there you go. That's it, yeah. All right. <laughs> it's an action. Well, let's go ahead and refill the display. Oh, uh, boy. This is look at that another one. one of those Oh, look research. at them. They all came out. And, oh, a steal. I could still steal, mm -hmm. since, especially since you're not going to be using your, your resources anymore. Not now. All right, for my first action, I'm just going to do a basic trade. Yeah. Um, I'm going to sell one of these three. Do I have any of those? Yeah, I'm going to sell a gas, a gas. Okay. for one coin. I got you. Thank you. Yep, I got it. All right, I'm just, just doing one. I just needed one coin Okay. because for my second action, I'm going to buy the communications array because I needed the Square Software brand. So I'm going to turn in the illegal good for the food. Yeah, that's and been working out for you. Huh? That's been working out for you. Yeah. Yeah. And this is going to go towards this planet so that I can complete it. It also scores me an additional point because it is one of those satellite symbols for the communications array set. Okay. And that's essentially it. These resources are not worth anything at the end of the game. I have completed my planets. Yeah. So do, how many of the purple symbols do you have that research? Uh, two still. Nothing changed from that. All right. Well, since on your turn you can take up to three actions, I'm just going to forgo my final action. Sure. And that is it for player turns. Now, technically, because of the event that we drew, uh, at the end of the player turns, you're supposed to refresh the entire display by returning all the cards to the bottom of their decks and redrawing up to three this time. But the game's over. But since the game is over, yeah. we're just going to skip that. And we don't really have to discard or pass the first player marker anymore either. So that's essentially it. That is the end of the game. Shall we go into end game scoring? Sure. Yep. All right. So now we're just going to go ahead and count up our final scores by adding up all the points that we see across our corporations plus the bonus points tile. Mm -hmm. So who do you want me to go first or do you uh, want to go sure. first? Sure. Go ahead. Okay. So let's just start with the corporation and then go down the line and then we'll look at any additional points after that. Sure. Okay. So my corporation wanted me to have three planets from the, of the star type. And I have them in these last the very three. very last three, yeah. These last three uh, belong to those types. So that's four points. Okay. My uh, Magnus system, my supremacy <laughs> bonus, yeah. allows me to have the most of the uh, research production. And you I got have it towards one, the end there. two, and three. Yeah, to, to two? my two, even though this one is on my uh, starting home, this does the not Omniforge, count. Omniforge, yeah. yeah. Omniforge so does not count. two to three, so you did uh, satisfy that. Okay, so that's an additional three points for seven. This is wanting me to have uh, the food research and gas production, so it's plus four. And this wanted me to have these three brands, which I do, mm -hmm. the red, blue, and yellow. This one is three of the green brand, My these three brands as well. Yep. And this wanted these two types of resource, Couldn't research and gas. Couldn't be much better than that, man. That's so 7, 11, 15, 19, 23, 26. 26, yep. Okay. I also had uh, minus two points. Okay, so 24. 24 plus eight points. 32. 32, actually minus one more point. A 31. So 31. And then my partnership which wants me to count uh, these across all of my planets, the, the green, green symbols, brand. Yeah. You got it. And I have one, two, three, four, five, so seven. Yep. So what was that? So you had a 31 plus seven, so 38. 38. And then, and then total developments. Do number you, of developments. I think you have exactly 17. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. All right, so 38 plus seven, that makes it a 45. 45. And I we do uh, count the uh, home uh, the Omniforge. Omniforge as one of the developments. All right, so that is my total score, 45. Now yeah. to you. 
Oh, man, uh, that was very good. So um, I think you got me here. But glint system, uh, mm -hmm. four. So I do have the one, two, three. So mm -hmm. that's four. Okay. Um, supremacy on energy production. You I got definitely. these very late. I wish I had them earlier because I, I was didn't really have hurting for coins. Any. Mm -hmm. So you definitely got that. So that's a seven. Mm -hmm. uh, and then this planet wants these three brands. Mm -hmm. So another four. Uh, so this, this planet wants these three brands. The resources. Are resources. <laughs> sorry. Okay. Uh, that's uh, another um, four. So 15. 15. Uh, this planet wants two ship buildings. Mm -hmm. So that's another 18. three. 18. This planet wants the same brand uh, three times. Mm -hmm. So that's another four. 22. 22. And then this planet was just my dump planet. Just so you did tossed not up do over there. No. The three ships. So yeah. It's 22. 22. Uh, then I have minus one. So okay, 21. 21. And then I have plus three. 24. 24. And then I have uh, the cross labs, mm -hmm. and I have four of these symbols. So it's one, two, three, four. Uh huh. So that makes it, uh, what, what do we count? 28. That? Is that 28? Mm hmm. Okay. And then developments, uh, we have, I believe, 16 developments three, six, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15, 16. Okay. So plus another four. For a total of 32. 32, yeah. All right. So that is it. Final scores are me with 45 to Naveen with 32. Ah, there was an inefficient round there for me. <laughs> the reserve card. <laughs> I did a... I did haunt a haunt you in your dreams. Refresh, refresh, reserve. Yeah. A card that I didn't even need. Right. Or I didn't mean, even use in the end. In the game, you have a total of up to nine actions per yeah. round. Mm -hmm. And each of those actions, you can kind of count, okay, how many cards can I potentially get? But some of those will need to be for resources. So it yeah. is an action uh, economy that you're also managing. Yeah, because uh, I had four of these red symbols here. Mm -hmm. And I really, and I was one short of this. So mm -hmm. that, that extra action could have been the thing to get me the extra the four. Software. But, you know, it, it, was, it was still a, a ways away. Mm -hmm. So... Good game. Well played. Nice. Nice. Good, Good job. job. <laughs> well, there you go. That is Star Tycoon. Now, again, we were playing the two-player game, but the rulebook does include rules for solo play, as well as additional variants that includes gameplays up to five or six players, or even adding an additional round. But if you have any questions about anything that you saw here today, please feel free to leave us a comment down below, and we'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you all so much for watching the video. We really hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoy content like this and would like to see more in the future, please consider subscribing. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Bye.